My name is Daisy Tatekel. I'm 20 years old. I go to the Macaulay Honors College at Lehman College and I'm a biology major. I'm currently a senior explainer here at the Hall of Science and what that role entails too is being kind of like a direct level support for explainers on the floor. Whenever they have questions about anything, they would usually come to me and I would uh, hopefully address that, but it doesn't have to necessarily be questions about the museum itself, it could be about academic work. And working here at NISI has been extremely beneficial. I've gained so many skills that I use to this day, primarily communication skills. I've been able to communicate with my professors and my advisors and even the director of the Macaulay program at Lehman. That's something I definitely learned from being here at the Hall of Science and it's helpful for when I need uh, recommendations or when I just need advice from these, from these people. I'm comfortable just being able to walk up to them and speak to them. Being a Hispanic woman in science has been difficult. I went to a STEM high school with over 5,000 kids. And out of those 5,000 kids, only a handful were Hispanic students. And it was, it was difficult, you know, not being able to continue my education with, with more Latinos or Latinas. So it, it was difficult. I had constantly had people like question whether I really want to pursue a career in medicine because it's difficult. But surrounding myself with people who have been very supportive has always pushed me through all of that. I still have a lot more to go through, but for my younger cousins, I do feel like I serve as some role model to them. I've definitely had a difficult time getting to where I am now, but I do believe that for my younger cousins, they, they do look up to me and they realize that if I could do it, they can do it as well. Definitely, I'm most grateful for the amount of support I've received from certain people. Here at the Hall of Science, I have a team that's been supporting me from the very first day that I walked in and they're still supporting me to this day. They always encourage me, always keeping up with how I'm doing in school. And also I have peers at school who also are going along the same track as I am. They might be from different backgrounds, but they've we've all been very supportive of each other and that's something I will never take for granted. So the sustainable development goals definitely require multiple solutions and perspectives. I feel that women and girls in, with STEM training would be able to provide that because you can't just solve these or achieve these goals with one mindset. Having multiple women and girls with multiple perspectives and creative ideas will be able to provide multiple solutions for these goals. STEM education for women provides them with tools to be able to gain confidence. STEM education is it's tough, but when women go through it, they become very resilient, and so I think that's just something that's very helpful for gender equality. My advice to other girls trying to pursue a career in STEM is to never be afraid to go after things that you think that you might not be able to do. Taking risks is something that's extremely important and not doubting yourself because you never know what you can do. If you stop yourself from trying to pursue opportunities, you will never know that you might have actually been able to to go through them and they could have been very beneficial. So just being able to have the confidence to go after things that you're afraid to do is extremely important.